Thank you, Madam Chair. Before I begin today, I would like to express and begin my remarks by expressing solidarity with other U.S. colonies, colonized people, indigenous communities, and descendants of the enslaved. Today represents a historic moment. While Puerto Rico is not the United States' only colony, it is, the, it is its oldest. Today, for the first time in our nation's history, the United States will acknowledge its role as a colonizing force and Puerto Rico's status as an extended colony. The Puerto Rico Status Act begins a process for Boricuas to decide their own future. And in this bill, we have made historic and unprecedented gains. Never before have terms for independence and free association been so clearly defined, including ramifications for citizenship. This bill excludes the current unsustainable colonial status. It clarifies uh, that birthrights, U.S. birthright citizenship and transmission of citizenship remains the same in any event of status, uh, of status selection. It provides 10 years of compensatory finance in the event of free association. And it also includes an agreement to international election observers over the course of a plebiscite. This bill has also achieved historic and unprecedented multi-party agreement on the island, including representatives from the independence, statehood, and Movimiento Victoria parties. These gains are critically important to codify in precedent here in this house. And I also want to acknowledge that rightfully some of the, the criticisms of what is not in this bill. It is not perfect. But we have fought tirelessly to expand the transparency where previously there was less and there is still more to go. It does not address reparations. It does not address the issues of Act uh, 20, Promesa and Luma, but I am confident that in solidarity with movements on the island, we will solve these issues and achieve those victories as well. I also want to note that decolonization is more than a vote. It doesn't happen just with a vote. It is a social, political, cultural, economic, and psychological process that extends far beyond the floor of this house. That being said, the gains that are made here are a watershed moment. And I would like to thank First and foremost, my incredible mentor, uh, Representative Nidia Velasquez, who has fought for the people of Puerto Rico um, for her entire career and her entire life. I'd like to thank our other colleagues, um, Chairman Grijalva, for elevating this issue, uh, Leader Hoyer, for making this a priority, as well as uh, Representative Gonza Com Resident Commissioner Gonzalez Colon. I'd also like to thank grassroots advocacy organizations, as well as our partners in the independence, free association, and statehood parties. These gains are incredibly important, and they are a, a waypoint and a stepping stone for the future of our island. And it, you know, I think it sends a very strong message to all. And for there to be any vote, we hope, uh, prior to any vote, we hope that the energy of people both in, di in the diaspora and on the island are here. And um, lastly, but certainly not least, as we ring out in, uh, in the refrain that is said among people across the world and Puerto Ricans across the world, yo si soy boricua, pa que tu lo sepa. And I uh, yield my time back to the chair.